Amen. And we are back talking about Mike Pence dropping out of the race on Saturday. There are now only nine <laughs> candidates in the Republican <laughs> race. And is anybody else going to read the room at some point and I, I say hope so, it's time to go? Because he was polling at 3.8%, if mm -hmm. you believe in polls. Mm -hmm. Chris Christie then comes out and says, I'm so happy that he realized it was over for him. Chris Christie <laughs> is polling at 3.1. <laughs> so he needs to get a reality check also. Tim Scott, 2.0, reality check. Asa Hutchinson, very nice guy, 0.7%. Doug Burgum, 0.7%. And Ryan Binkley has no polling data listed at all. So he hasn't even... Is that one is? Exactly. He hasn't even <laughs> registered. Never heard of that. Vivek, who made a big splash, 5.8%. Mm -hmm. So really, in my opinion, you and I have discussed this, Trump is at 56.9%. Still, he's the presumptive nominee, and then maybe Nikki Haley and, and Ron DeSantis will duke it out. But it should just be those three at this point. Look, when I saw that, he said, it's become clear to me that my time has come. I'm like, dude, if you had called me last year, I would have told you. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, I mean, if, if he, that he had no lane, right? Because, I mean, like, Pence dropping out was like, if a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it, does yeah. it even make a noise? Did even, anybody even know he was in? Uh, he, yeah. look, he, he had no lane from the beginning. People who don't like Trump don't give Pence a pass for having been a conspirator with him and defended everything for four years. And people who do like Trump want to hang him. Yeah. So other than mother, I don't know who supports him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he's going to back his, his words up with some actual action, he needs to immediately endorse someone. Because uh, Governor Sununu said from the beginning the For reason... what? Being that if you are, don't want Trump, which they've all now, a lot of them have said it, other than Vivek, who's like, wants to be Trump, <laughs> the rest say they don't want him. If you don't want it, the only shot they have is coalescing around one person and get throwing their energy in. Governor Sununu said right here on the show the reason he wasn't joining is the field's too large, and as soon as you know it's your moment... Clearly, Mike Pence's was last year. They need to get out and, and get behind someone. And so the fact that we're not hearing him say anything yet makes me worried he's holding on for something else. That like, stood out to me. And listen, I'm vaguely we'll say on? No, this Mike is, Pence is oh, Mike. holding on. Okay. Like, by not endorsing right. someone, is he hoping... Elisa That's gave my fear. Me some bad news this I'll start morning. with this. I'm always going to be grateful for Pence doing the right thing on January 6th, and I think that there are a lot of elected politicians who would not do the right thing, so I don't want to take that away from him. This underscores how much of a stronghold Donald Trump has on the GOP. Mm -hmm. And I was listening when he made this announcement, which did come as a shock despite his low poll numbers, the timing of it. He didn't endorse anyone. So that worries me that he may be holding out, seeing Donald Trump's numbers and wondering, what is the future oh, for that me? Is, is there an ambassadorship? Ridiculous. Is there a cabinet position? I hope that the Mike Pence I knows knows what a threat Donald Trump poses, and he throws his full support behind Nikki Haley. Um, at this point, it, but regardless of... That, was, I know, that escaped the, my so body. The <laughs> South Carolina post Courier, which is the most influential political paper in the state, came out and said that the candidates, other than Trump, need to coalesce around yeah. her. She beats Biden head-to-head -head by the biggest margin. She's She's thriving. She's moving up in Iowa. She's doing well in New Hampshire and in South Carolina. She's somebody who, she has flaws, but I've seen moral clarity from her on Ukraine, an issue that it's hard as a Republican to make the case in the MAGA GOP that we need to stand by Ukraine. She's doing that. She's standing by Israel, and she sounds like a serious, credible politician, not somebody who's silly and in courtrooms and multiple times indicted. She'd be a vast improvement. I hope all the candidates seriously consider endorsing her. Why is she still at 8%, her. then? <laughs> it's the Donald Trump... Well, she's at 13% or 16% Iowa, which is notable. If all yeah, the candidates but actually... But nationally 8%. I, I, national polls don't matter as much to me as early state her, polls, her, but if the candidates in the field got out and backed one person to take on Trump, she's the one. Her numbers are coming from DeSantis. Who yeah. I, I, you know, I just love to say it as much as I possibly can. Has failed, flailed, failure, yeah. loser. Well, I tell them, remember the, court, uh, the Capitol Police officer who was here, until there's nothing that can be done, there's something that can be done. Yeah. And so right now, I also vote for, like, if they mean what they say, and we all know the danger of Donald Trump, they better get behind someone and give Sarah, people an alternative. Mike Pence's endorsement is worth mother's vote and maybe the rabbit, if yeah. the rabbit's matter. still alive. It's worth 3%, it's arguably. Yeah, take it. Yeah. yeah. Is the but rabbit she's still not, the She's not wide enough on the world for me. I'm sorry. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the Congo. There's crazy stuff going on all, all over Haiti. the... All over the world, Haiti, and and quite honestly, she does not seem to uh, 
think there's anything wrong with some of the policies that the Republicans have stood for. And she said nothing new that, bon uh, that uh, you know, who has she not said. She has been the most willing to criticize him in the field That's of That's not enough. Campus. I need to know what you're going to do. In you. I, we all can sit and criticize. Mm -hmm. I want to see what's your plan. If you don't agree with him, what are you going to do? That's what I want from